okay of course welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome i don't know how many times i did this intro y'all i think this is like my fourth time so let's get it right now the wig i'm going to be sharing with y'all today is from my first wigs everybody should be familiar with my first wigs if you're not you need to get familiar sis because they are a bomb 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 company all the links and details to the wig that i'm going to be sharing with you will be in my description box and just in case you do want to purchase or check out their website if you have not heard of them already go ahead and check below this is the packaging and hold up why can i get this box open and it came with the wig details so let me just read it off to you really quickly the order number is q087 this is a yaki texture the length is 20 inches the hair color is a natural hair color the cap size i have is a size one which is a 21 to 22 circumference and then uh, the cap construction is a 13 by 6 lace front wig the density of this wig is 160 percent so that's all the information and just in case you missed anything um that stuff will be somewhere on the screen and on um and in my description box yo i'm pumped about this because first of all like the way these knots is looking y'all did they say what length this was Damn, I don't even know what I did with the paper. What left was this? I would really like to know. Did y'all see what I just did with that paper? Bro, that's because my phone keep on going off. That's annoying. Like, what did I just do with the paper? Did I put it back in here? Okay, I put it back in here. Bro, it's 20 inches. All right, y'all. So, here is the wig. Like I said, it is a 13 by 6. Y'all see how bleached these knots are? They are bleached very well. So the construction, it comes with two combs off to the side in the front. It also comes with a comb in the back with your adjustable strips, a little bit of lace. And it also comes with the adjustable band, which works really, really well, especially for smaller head sizes. And if you want to wear this wig glueless which there is an option so here is the hairline oh my god my phone is killing me i'm gonna have to turn it off so this is what the hairline is looking like and y'all it looks really good Look at this hairline. And you see what I mean about like the the edges. All right, I did go ahead and adjust these uh the elastic band that's on here. Hopefully I don't have to cut off the sides, but it looks like I might have to. I'm not sure. Wait a minute. Oh my god, if I don't have to cut off these sides, I'm gonna be so thankful. I mean, I feel like it should be alright. okay that's without any glue so i will say if um you wanted to wear this glueless you definitely could like look at that so how has everyone been i've been doing very great you guys 
can't complain. Cannot complain at all. I'd be a little wary on trying the edge hairline, the whatever it's called. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The edges hairline. Because some just be too much for me. And like some people hairline might really look like that, but mine's don't. You know what I'm saying? So it just looks unnatural on me. Whereas though you really have to tweak it in order for the hairline to actually look like something and look right. With this wig, it actually looks natural like how my hairline would actually look. So, my first wigs, I really can appreciate that. I'm, I'm recently disappointed. <laughs> I was supposed to go to Mexico, Cancun, um, May, not May, March, the end of this month, March 21st to the 26th. And I went shopping, like I bought all of these outfits. I had videos in mind. I was going to vlog my trip. And yeah, I, that's not happening. And I have not been on a vacation in so long. And I think that it's like old to myself because you know I just be like a mother <sighs> and I really would love and appreciate a break y'all like I love my kids but it's a lot and I just want a break <laughs> is that selfish like I don't know and then you know how it is like leaving for like five days at once it's hard to find a babysitter for that many days and I had one on lock my mother but like I'm like damn when that opportunity gonna come again that she is gonna be willing to keep my kids and not like it was during the week because she be acting funny when it comes to watching my kids like all my other friends and their mother like grannies my mother not one of those like <laughs> no and I can understand to some extent because like she's been doing daycare for years since I was probably like 15 or 14. So like she's been watching kids, you know, but they your grandkids. Like come on. I, my camera keeps on cutting off the whole time I thought I was recording and letting y'all see me take off the elastic band because before I applied the elastic band I was done my application but y'all missed the part when I put on the elastic band so I put that on and I was trying to show y'all um, after letting it sit me taking it off and this is what it looks like but that just didn't work out now in the meantime while I was waiting um, with the elastic band, I did take my wand curler and I flattened this part out and it didn't take much. It was real easy breezy, straight to the point. I didn't have to like section off the head to make it flat or anything like that. And I could appreciate it because sometimes when it's too much, like this is already a yakky texture. So too much density in the hair is just real, it gives bulky, okay? And we don't want that. So... The fact that this is yaggy but it's 160 percent density i feel like it's a good density for this hair it looks really like real so i'm gonna go real quick and take a washcloth and um just wipe this 
residue off and then I'll come back. I did cut this, but the um, elastic band was on it so I couldn't like fully cut it off. But now that that's removed, I can go ahead and cut that off. Cause it was like, you know, close to my ear. Let's comb it out just to see. So that's how we basically gonna leave it. I have some concealer on the end of this brush and I'm just gonna take it and add it to my part. Now they did an amazing job at actually plucking, I mean not plucking, but bleaching the knots with so it looks like scalp. Look at that. And y'all know, usually when you have a black stocking cap on and you part the hair, it's like you can't see the part. Not this wig, but in some spots, I do feel like it's um, like this spot right here. It's kind of bothering me. Y'all see how that just blend so nicely. Why is my nose running? <laughs> oh, I hope I'm not getting a cold. I didn't have to cut no baby hair into this. Like, this is how it came, y'all. The only thing I did was put my heat on, um, on like this part to flatten it down a little bit. But I'm running out of time. I gotta go pick up the kids. So when I come, I'll like resume this video when I come back.